sniffing on my makeup, like always. Huh. She's going to be two this summer. I got her when she was three months old. You were just two back then, and now you're gonna be five. Stop growing up. She tolerates it a little less being picked up by me as she gets older, so I don't do that. So, I was watching videos that I made like three years ago and I used to think that they were asinine. I couldn't stand them. I thought that I was doing the worst job in the world and I thought they were just absolutely terrible. But watching it back three years later and that's, that's how long it took for me to um, get the courage to watch myself again. That's three years. Um, they weren't that bad and I was real cute you know I was just trying to do my thing and part of the reason I stopped is because I was getting hate comments and um, I'm still allergic to my cat so the sniffling still a thing but yeah I had been getting hate comments talking about my voice there's nothing I can do about my voice there's nothing I can do I don't know what people want you know, for me to use a voice changer or something, uh, no. If you don't like my voice, just don't watch, you know? It's, it's simple, and there's simple solutions to stuff like that, but people don't want to think at all, period. They don't want to think. So anyway, I spent a while last night watching some old videos that I made, and they were kind of heartbreaking in a way because I really wanted to make this a thing and I did for a while but I hated every second of it because for one it's uncomfortable talking to your camera to your phone it's uh, kind of weird so anyway I am just explaining right now that I'm doing like a little fun a uh, series of videos where I'm recreating all my old videos. I'm bringing them to light because I feel like they need to be and I'm just trying to uh, do something that I know my past self would have appreciated. So what I'm doing is I have my laptop here with the video playing and I don't know if it's going to be loud enough. What I'm going to try to do when I'm editing this is I'm going to play the video on my phone, screen record the clips I'm talking about, edit them in so that it makes sense. And I hope I'm able to do that. It should be fine. I did everything already. I did There's everything already. No there was no point in filming it. Yep. That's right. I'm going to prime my eyelids. Oh, I already primed my eyelids. So the point of this video is well, you already saw it from the title, so you already know what it is. But yeah, so it, basically my goal was to, like if you're scared to wear color, just uh, throw it under your waterline. That was, I mean, it's not bad advice, but I didn't know what else to do. And my, I think sister, she had asked me like, how, how do I, maybe it wasn't her, I don't know, but someone had asked me like, I don't know how to wear colors like all the time like every day and so I made this because I was like well I'm sure other people are wondering too like here's an easy way and it is a very easy way and it it looks good the way I did it I'm not gonna lie this was one of my favorite makeup looks I did it several times and so I decided to make a video about it and three years later I'm gonna recreate it because I haven't done that in a long time that makeup look If you are scared of color and you don't know how to wear it, it's okay. I have a very easy solution for you. Very easy. Very easy. This is my favorite primer. This is Benefit Stay Out Tray. I try not to use it so much because it's my favorite. I always do that. When I feel like I'm getting low on something, I just quit using it. 
I, I'm still like that. I quit using products that I like. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. This is the primer I use now because uh, I just had it. <laughs> I'm really bad about getting rid of makeup. So uh, that leads me into my next point. I actually have most of the makeup that I am using in this video. I, I'm sure it's not good and some of it may be old. Probably. More than likely, but... Uh. I'm setting it. I'm setting it with the palette I'm using today. I'll show you in a second. Oh, so apparently I had set my eyes with uh, this palette. I do still have this, and I don't use it because I forget. I forget to use all my palettes. That's the problem when you buy so many. And BoxyCharm not too long ago. Oh yeah, it came it from BoxyCharm. On the Go eyeshadow palette. This is the, well, I mean, it's the neutral one. It doesn't have a name. Okay. You're right. Yeah, no, this doesn't have a name. It's just... It's just a neutral palette. There's no name, okay? Alright, what are we doing now, Amanda? Many, but this is what the colors look like. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. If you remember, we got that. This is what I'm using. Okay. I'm going to take... Mm, I don't know if I want to take this one or that one. Mm. What did you go with? You think... I went with the lighter one. Like this one, this lighter brown. This one's a little more orangey. Uh, yeah. So, this was way warmer than I wanted. So, I'm going with this one, okay? I'm not doing the whole YouTube spiel. Like, this one. Like, I'm not going to showcase anything. I'm not talking about what brushes I'm using. Because, honestly, no one cares. I was talking during that. And I decided to speed it up. Because I think the conversation was boring. I'm going to take this, like, chocolatey brown right here. I'm taking it on the very edge of the brush. Well, the tip, I should say. And I'm popping that right there. So, now I'm using this brown. Um, I think, just in the crease, that's it. I'm blending it with the transition, that's it. If I remember correctly, I'm not taking it all the way inward. I'm just doing it kind of like this. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take another flat brush, I guess. Well, I'll just use the same one that I set my eyelids with. I'm taking the white shade in this palette and I'm putting this on my eyelid. I'm skipping through. You're getting it. You probably should. I don't use boxy charm anymore. Shadows are awesome. Uh, so essentially, I'm <sighs> I'm using this fucking white shade and I'm cutting my crease basically without using concealer but I think I'm going to use a little bit of concealer do basic wing and I'm not even going to talk through this because this takes me forever because when you have hooded eyes um, it just, it's just like that it's just like that. No, but really, um, <laughs> eyeliner is a little bit difficult with hooded eyes. That's just how it is. The tiny amount. The oh. tiniest amount. The tiniest amount of black, okay? And I don't know why I decided to try to make that defining line before, but we're going with it. Putting the black on now. Kind of. That's a little better. Whatever. I have to say, I did a much better job this time. Okay, neutral everyday part is over. And now, if you want to go ahead and choose a color that you want. You want a bright Gatorade 
uh, neon lime Gatorade color. Go for it. Okay. Like I said, I still have the same makeup, okay? Am I proud of it? No. Is it old? Probably. And then I'm going to smell also from Urban Decay because I figured that's the closest purple I could probably get. It. And the closest color is Urban from this palette. So no, like it's literally the same exact color. Just your normal inner corner highlight. Phantom from Makeup Geek is going to go perfect with my look today. What? So if you wanted to, if you wanted to do this, a duochrome, it's a white oh. and purple shift. Okay, I need to look for that. One eternity later. I found this little number right here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. If you walk outside with like crazy colorful makeup, no one's going to look at you weird. No one's going. Well, they probably will, but it's all about not really caring. That's better. My message here is that no one's going to say anything to you. They probably won't say anything, but um, people are rude. They'll they'll probably give you weird looks. I I was setting you up for false hope here. You like. What are they wearing? Don't worry about that. It's it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. Like if it's out of your comfort zone and then, whoops, and you try it, everyone else is gonna love it, you know? It looks. Well, not everyone, but you will probably get compliments if you walk out of the house with crazy makeup. One time I went to the mall, I had like hot pink eyes, wings, I had a gold inner corner. I had pretty bright, crazy eyes, and I got compliments all day at the mall. No, I, I know exactly what day that was. I was standing in line for Jamba Juice in the food court with my mom, and the employees were all complimenting my makeup, so... It wasn't all day long, that was an exaggeration. Not everyone loves it, but it's it doesn't matter. I think my message was, if you love it, who cares? That's the whole video boiled down to one sentence. If you like it, wear it. Who cares? Alright, so now I'm putting some lashes on and um, I don't think I put thick ones on, so I'm not going to. Just some little thin ones. Who cares? I'll probably move on to something while they dry because this glue is a mess when it's wet. You can't risk it. This is also from Ardell, and um, the packaging says that it has like a cancer warning or something, so that's cool, you know. I don't, this glue is going to give me cancer, so I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, well, I don't use that anymore because that was literal garbage. Any glue in like a tube, garbage. I hate it all. Um, I use the brush on one from Duo. It's cheap and it's also just what I have. I wore this in yesterday's video, but I forgot how much I loved it. So Salty from Tarte. It's their quick dry something. Yeah, couldn't find that. Um, I have two of those quick drying matte lipsticks, but they are both the color delish. I don't know how I ended up with two, but I couldn't find that one. And I know that I had made my lips a little bit like of a cool toned brown. So I have a little lip combo here for that. This one makes it's called nude. Yeah, I didn't want to use that. And also my lashes are already like drying. So why am I waiting? Amanda, where are you? I'm making a little video, babe. No. Yeah. Why? Why no? Because. Why? I'm getting sleepy because of you. Because <laughs> I'm not. I'm not here to be all loud and distract you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what do you know now? 
I'll be done soon. I'll, I'll, I'll be ready to annoy you soon. I promise. Okay, sticky. <laughs> okay, lashes are on, and I was doing lips. So, I'm gonna do lips. Dude, this is so broken. <laughs> Uh, that's another reason why I don't use lip liners, because most of them suck. This is old, honestly. I've had this forever. This is from Huda Beauty, and I don't even know if her lipsticks look like this anymore. Or if this shade even exists, so I'm not going to bother aiming it. And I think that's it. After I do this, I'm all done. I'm oh, dang, that glue took forever to dry. Oh yeah, I, guess I'll go ahead I forgot and about blush and highlight. So I'm gonna use this rose blush by Milani, and this is called I still have that. Rose, and I'm using Mary Luminizer. This okay. smells very disgusting. Just in case no one ever told you. I don't remember. But I do still have it, so let's see. Yep. Nope. No, it, it smells pretty bad. Wow. Ugh. Like, <coughs> like a petting zoo mixed with, um, I don't know. Ugh. I've become kind of a blush freak. In the past few months, I used Tarte Party with uh, several A's, and then on top of it, I don't, they don't sell this anymore, it's just a little, um, it's a shimmery blush. I put it on top. Uh, I should honestly get rid of this. This is nasty. Mary Luminizer, but I'm not using that. Uh, I'm using this. <laughs> For sure. Very shiny. I put it on the highest point. Which is here. I'll take this one. It's just a little flat brush. And I'm, I'm gonna take the subtle one right there. Put on my brow bone. Because I don't... I don't know what the trend is these days. But I still like to put highlight on my brow bone. I haven't been keeping up with what the kids are doing these days, you know? It's almost like you hit 24 and you just immediately become out of touch. These, I don't know, Morphe brushes are, they're either really good or really bad. This one and a few more that I have are really bad. Like when you wash them, they become this, like they look frayed and like they get rough i don't know brushes are meant to be washed so i don't know why is it it's so cheap but and that's because that's like an animal hair rough, brush baby brushes are meant to be washed so i don't know why is it so cheap but it's cheap because it's, it's wholesale it's morphe i don't know if they do it anymore but they started hair, out as a wholesale so... brand but they're purple and white and I love it okay so I'm like obsessing over the inner corner and in person it does look better the camera kind of washes it out there's nothing I can do but yeah please feel free to suggest videos you want to see from me because I'm open to suggestions um it's exhausting but I'll be filming the rest of the week like I have been all week and I'm open to hearing what you guys want to see. I must have been on break. Don't feel embarrassed or weird to walk outside with a whole bunch of colors on your eyes. It's okay. You know, people talk a lot on the internet but no one's going to say anything to you in person. They're not. You're going to get compliments if you step outside with like crazy colorful eye makeup. People love that. And Usually. And it'll be great. So just go for it. Just do it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. 
please like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video okay well i'm not gonna ask anyone to subscribe because this was a mess but it was fun to do it was and, and i want to do my first video I, I would like to redo that because that was an absolute mess for sure there's cat fur on my face anyway all right well that was fun bye